To properly install your Bosch oxygen sensor with SmartLink connector, please follow these basic instructions. It's critical to understand that in order for the oxygen sensor to work properly, air must be drawn into the sensor through the connecting wires. Therefore, you must not solder the wires together. Doing so will result in a malfunctioning sensor. Additionally, do not cut the original equipment wiring before removing the sensor from your vehicle because you will need to measure the full length of wire when preparing the new oxygen sensor. Lay the old sensor and the new sensor next to each other and cut the wire in the same location on both sensors. Now, refer to the wire color reference table found on the instruction sheet to identify the proper wire connections. The two wires that are the same color are your heater wires. These will connect to the two white wires on the universal sensor. Pass the wires from the OE connector and the new sensor through the appropriate holes of both the body and the cap, as shown here. Then, install a wire sleeve over each wire so that the wire passes through the small diameter end of each sleeve first. Strip 3 8 of an inch of insulation from the end of each wire with a proper wire stripping tool. When all wire sleeves have been installed and all wire ends stripped, align the wires so the proper connections can be made without crisscrossing the wires. Loosen the ends of the Pazolok connector and insert the stripped end of one wire into the end of the connector. Insert the wire to be connected into the other end. Tighten both ends of the Pazolok connector to secure the connection. Push both wire sleeves against the connector. When all wires have been connected, slide the sleeves and connectors into the body and apply the cap. Be sure to remove the plastic cap from the sensor and install the Bosch oxygen sensor following the same wiring path as the OE sensor, avoiding sources of extreme heat and possible abrasion.